This segment is brought to you by Musamed Hillcrest Private Hospital. Dr. Khan, thank you for joining us on Living Your Best Life. Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me, Maria. So we talk about ADHD and we hear this coined all the time, but let's define it. So ADHD is a disorder that presents in childhood. It, um, the core symptoms include impulsivity, hyperactivity and or inattention. The important thing about these symptoms though is that they are pervasive and they will exist and coexist um, and cause problems in cognitive functioning, emotional functioning, behavioral functioning, academic functioning. And that's the key point. They also have to be present for more than six months to make a diagnosis of ADHD. So from what age then can a parent start noticing signs? So usually you would find symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity that would start around the age of um, four years. They then increase in, in intensity um, up to about eight years when you'll find that they peak the symptoms of impulsivity and hyperactivity. The symptoms of inattentiveness, however, only present usually after the age of eight or nine years. When then should a parent start seeking professional advice? So basically, if your child um, after the age of four is starting to show signs of hyperactivity or impulsivity, meaning that it's a very fidgety child, a child that you say, you know, sit in that chair and they can't stay seated. Um, for example, at school where they should be seated. A child who is always restless, always on the go. A child who speaks too much or talks incessantly when they've been told to be quiet a child who interrupts others. Um, so those are some of the symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity. Then there's symptoms of inattentiveness. And this is the child who doesn't pay close attention to detail and makes lots of mistakes. The child that loses things for, you know, stuff at school, so um, like sports equipment. It's the child that is the daydreamer. Um, the child that you talk to and they look like they're not paying attention. Although I'm pretty sure that most parents can say that about their kids, yeah. So what are the treatments available to a child that has ADHD? Okay, so first and foremost, one a medical practitioner practitioner would do a complete medical evaluation on the child to rule out any underlying medical problems that could be causing the symptoms of ADHD. Once the child has been diagnosed, however, treatment would include behavioral therapy, medication, and or educational therapy. So the decision will obviously be individualized for each patient. Um, and then when it comes to younger children, so children that are preschoolers and have been diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, um, the, the primary goal is to try and get those children doing better with behavioral therapy alone. So we'd like to avoid medication in the preschoolers. However, if the symptoms are quite severe, sometimes we do have to start them on medication and we would usually start with a drug like methylphenidate. In the school age children, you would use a combination of medication and behavioral therapy. Doctor, are there any preventative measures that one can take? So first and foremost, it's important to remember that one of the primary causes for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is genetic factors. There are also neuroanatomical factors at play and neurochemistry factors at play. When it comes to environmental factors, however, they are numerous. And, um, and so this is important for parents to pay attention to things like dietary factors that they can change or alter in their child to improve their symptoms. Things like your um, food additives, so colorants, flavorants, or preservatives in food. Um, and what it's found is that this in a subgroup of children does cause hyperactivity. This goes uh, for sugar, refined sugar intake as well. I think we've all heard about that as well. Um, other dietary factors include food intolerances. So if a child responds strangely to a certain food, you can have kids who have certain food intolerances where they eat maybe egg or something else, and then they're hyperactive after having that food. And then just importantly, 
deficiencies of things like iron, zinc, and essential fatty acids can also cause symptoms of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Children who haven't had good quality of sleep, not just quantity, quality of sleep will present with not daytime sleepiness like adults do, but with motor hyperactivity. So in the long term, these kids are actually going to present as ADHD. Something as simple as an adenoidectomy or a tonsillectomy may improve those symptoms and studies have shown that they actually do. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Living Your Best Life. Thank you so much, Maria. Busamed Hillcrest Private Hospital is committed to promoting a safe, cost-efficient and quality healthcare service to all patients. They strive to build a secure and integrated relationship between the staff medical practitioners, and clients at Busa Med Hillcrest Private Hospital. There is commitment to providing excellent care to all customers.